One of the things that, that, that I keep coming back to uh, um, from the inspiration of, of your work is, is this um, collaboration between um, the, the actual powers that control things um, that is of course directly related to the topic of the psychopath um, but also to the um, uh, the way that the victims the the herd uh, co-creates that character and thus it, you don't need the, the, the psychopath anymore you don't need a policeman in the street to be afraid of the policeman you don't need a king to be afraid of the king you put him in your own mind very much in the same way that uh, that Freud talked about how your relationship to your father creates that super ego thing uh, that keeps punishing you even though he's not there anymore uh, it's just how do you think uh, how much is actual direct influence and conscious influence from psychopathic people and behavior and how much is actually our own um, misinterpretation or feeding that myth I have to think about this for a second yes there's a symbiotic relationship between the psychopath and the victims absolutely one could not exist without the other it is the positive and negative there's a polarity there that's absolutely vital for the for the uh, for the process to happen Having said that, indigenous cultures have less issues with psychopaths than the Western society does. And that's because Western society, psychopaths are very useful for the, the overall agenda that Western society has in terms of the consumer culture. That's extremely necessary for that. So the psychopath becomes almost like the, the folk hero and the, and the enemy at the same time on one hand we have a superficial moral structure which says oh these people are bad they're wicked if they're in a if you're in a relationship with one of them or if you're in a you know if, if you're depending on one to save your life or, or enhance your life on a personal level however they're fantastic in terms of big business and that's where you know we're told that way that, that that's what's needed you know that movie wall street the scene where michael uh, Michael Douglas announces to the shareholders that greed is good. Now, the and the shareholders are they're they're shocked, but it's as you can see, it's it's a superficial shock. On one hand, they're saying we don't we know we're respectable business people. We don't want to be in, involved with someone who's just you know ruthless. But the reality is, he was giving them the devil that they wanted. He was giving them he he was manifesting within that sort of business structure to give them what they desired the most in the same way there's a you know you'll have a situation where somebody will attract a psychopath into their personal life for whatever reason sexual financial you know you will have like a, a wealthy male attracting a the psychopathic poor female who's a who's a money grabber you know who's just base so essentially it's a form of like it's almost a form of sacred prostitution when you start looking at his side of the things you know and you know you see this with like rich old guys married to wealthy wealthy uh, sorry wealthy old guys married to rich you know to young girls who are like 40 years younger than them and they're models or whatever and the same thing happens with it's happening increasingly now with like toy boys particularly amongst the gay community you'll see a lot of uh, you know wealthy elderly gay guys going into civil partnerships with very attractive young males and it's the same thing again so you know and then we see that on TV and then we say to ourselves oh she's only with him for the money oh he's only with her for the money and yet we, we, we claim to be repulsed by this we, we, we claim that there's something inherently wrong with this yet all those people who are saying that if they had the wealth of that person they would probably be buying themselves a young model themselves so it's almost like the psych that, that kind of behavior exists for us to superficially point a finger at it and say hey what they're doing is, is morally wrong but it's only morally wrong from the viewpoint that we financially and economically can't afford it 